And we're joined on the phone today by musician Roger Earl. He is the founder and drummer for the band Fog Hat. They've got a new live album out. It's called Eight Days on the Road. Hey, Roger, how you doing today? Dustin? Doing right. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for joining me. No, thank you for having me. We were just in your neck of the woods. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I, I was hoping to speak with you about that, but I know we got pushed back a bit, but it was great that you guys were able to get back out on the road. Uh, it, it felt really good to be back out there. And also we played at the uh, the Moon Dance Jam with um, Todd Rungan with us that night. And Todd, uh, was, we were on the same record label, Bearsville Records, and um, Todd helped us out on our first couple of albums. He helped mix some stuff. Uh he actually played guitar and piano on some things for us. So uh, there was a, and I hadn't seen Todd since 1974, I think. So it was really good to see him. He sounded fantastic, and his band was like unbelievable. So we really had a good time. Moon Dance Jam, fifteen thousand people, uh, and they were ready to rock. We had a really good time. That's awesome. And I know you've got uh, some other stuff going on here. A new live album. Eight Days on the Road. Can you tell the yeah. listeners a bit about it? Yeah, it was recorded at the end of uh, 19 uh, November at Daryl's House Club in upstate New York, falling New York. Um, it was a four-day run for us in like a sprinter van, and uh, they had an incredible uh, recording system there and a five-camera shoot. The club is one of the best sounding rooms I've ever been in. We don't normally get a chance to play smaller rooms. They're usually doing like festivals and theaters and stuff like that. But um, I really enjoyed it. It was like having, uh, you know, four maniacs in your living room. I mean, the people were right there, right in the front row. Um, I was really pleased with the way it sounded. Uh, They had fantastic recording equipment. They had a five camera, high def camera shoot. Um, What really impressed me with the club is that all the people that worked there were like professional um, and really good food really really good food uh but it was it was terrific Daryl's house club is a fabulous venue i'll go there anytime that's got to be great for you guys you know playing stadiums all those years and you know bigger arenas uh, you didn't get a lot of chance to kind of get right down there with the crowd like you mentioned yeah it was yeah it was it was um you know up close and personal i mean you could smile at people they're smiling back at you uh, you could actually hear them talking. Well, when if, during songs, uh, uh, they were they were the crowd were real responsive. They they sang along with the stuff. You know, Fulford City Slow Ride. Uh, we did a couple of extra songs that we hadn't played in a while. We did uh, Chuck Berry's Maybelline. Uh, we played uh, play that funky music, White Boy. Brian Bassett, our lead and fly guitar player, who does uh, all our production, produces our records and engineers everything. He was the guitar player in uh, Wild Cherry. So we used to play at sound checks and uh, this four day run. I said, why don't we just do the song, you know, just for fun? And uh, I think it turned out rather well. Everybody loves that song. You know, everybody wants to get up and dance. Sure. Why not? Yeah, I was going to ask you a bit about um, Foghat's lineup now. I know you've been there since the beginning, but you've got a lot of uh, heavy hitters in the band now, too. Yeah, well, Brian Bassett, um, our lead and side player. Uh, been with the band like 24, 25 years. Um, Charlie Hune, our lead vocalist and lead guitar player, has <clears throat> been with us 20, 21 years. That's not, not like a new band. <laughs> Rodney O'Quinn is our bass player. He was with Pat Travers forever. <clears throat> we stole him from Pat about four years ago after Craig McGregor, our longtime bass player, passed away. In fact, Craig actually uh, asked Rodney to be in the band. Uh, yeah, that's the rough part about uh, being here we've lost so many people in the band but uh you know i'm gonna roll till i'm old and drop till i drop it's um, this is what i do uh <laughs> in the famous words of lonesome dave roll till i'm old and rock till i drop it's um it's what i do i'm not ready to retire i don't want to retire i love i'm not as fortunate a few in this world who gets to earn a decent living at something i love doing and like I said, the band's been together like over 20 years, so it's not like we're the new kids on the block or anything. Well, and of course, uh, for you in particular, it's been, you know, 50 years uh, for you with Fog Hats. I mean, this is ah. obviously, <laughs> this is it for you, Roger. You're you're in it, obviously, for the long haul. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, um, I, I love to play. As long as, you know, my body will hold up and my hands and feet sort of 
do the work, you know, because, you know, playing drums, there's, there is, like, the mechanics of that. I mean, I practice, you know, I, I always carry my practice pad and pedals on the road. and It was all rough having a year and a half off. I don't think I've ever done that. It's the first time I had a, a summer off since I was 12 years old, I think. But, um, you know, I sit down, I play. In fact, I learn. I don't think you ever stop learning. But um, it's okay sitting there on your own. But the real joy of playing is making music and playing in a band. That's where I get my kicks. You know, going on stage with those guys and just, like, counting it off. I mean, the smiles that go from ear to ear. It's, uh, it's a joyous occasion. I know how fortunate I really am. That's awesome. And again, uh, the new album, Eight Days on the Road, is out. Uh, you've got the uh, the album, and then it comes with the DVD of the show as well. And I wanted to ask you uh, about uh, the show and what made you decide to release it. Obviously, you're no stranger to live albums. I think growing up, everyone I knew had uh, Foghead Live. So, I mean, this <laughs> you guys definitely know how to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, well, Foghead's always been... It's always been about playing music. It's never. It was never. You know, we never did. I think we maybe did one show for MTV. We did a, a song called uh, "Slip Tripped and Fell in Love," but it was always a live band playing live. I mean, I remember we used to do the stuff um, for a Midnight Special and uh, those shows back in the early seventies. They were fun, and, and I'm surprised they haven't put out. You know, all those all the film and recordings from them. But, um, yeah, it's all about playing. Uh, it's uh, music. You know, hey, I remember one time I was out in uh, Colorado one time riding my bike and I uh, stopped at this music store. And over the music store, it had this sign that said, without music, life would be a mistake. And I said, huh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, music makes the world go round, I think. And this is this is the land of music, rock and roll, blues, jazz, uh, uh, country and western. Um, it's you know it's um, this is where it all comes from. That's why I, this is my adopted home, anyway. Well, and you've got shows booked through most of the rest of the year. It looks like so. That's great that things are starting to open up, and you, you're able to get back to normal here and, and get back on the road where you belong. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was pretty rough. You know, at that last year it was. Um, pretty scary out there um and we waited until we figured or until everybody in the band got vaxxed and our crew got vaxxed and just to make sure that everything was okay um it's uh yeah i missed it and it's it's good to be back you know we're uh we you know we were we were our masks and stuff and try to sort of keep it as safe the one thing i didn't want i didn't want anybody to get sick because of us because uh, i mean i have a my brother-in-law got uh, COVID, but he had no symptoms, no symptoms whatsoever, but he was a carrier. And that's one of the insidious sides of this, you know, wicked disease, the fact that you can get it. So it's all about protecting each other. Um, and let's hopefully uh, we're uh, over the hump with it and um, everybody gets back and we can get out there and start living again. Definitely. Well, Roger, I know the album Eight Days on the Road is just out. Uh, are you working on any new music? You know, maybe either with Foghat or The Agitators or anything else maybe coming up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we, uh, when we first started rehearsing a couple of months ago, we were down at our studio down in Florida. You know, the band got together. That was really good because we hadn't seen each other in like a year and a half. Uh, yeah, we're working on uh, some new... we got like seven or eight songs we're uh, talking about originals and blues songs and R&B songs. That usually gets the juices flowing, playing some other people's songs and new arrangements for them. And then and we're going to have some guests. Kim Simmons is gonna, from Savoy Brown is going to uh, play on a couple of tracks with us. He's actually written a song for Folkhat, so that should be interesting. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the juices flowing. We'll go out. We'll probably do it. We'll start probably sometime in uh, the end of August. Um, we've already been down there. We set up the new board and, and microphones. I tuned the drums. So uh, that should be out maybe late next summer. Awesome. Well, Roger, again, it's been an honor speaking with you. Thank you so much. I'm digging the new album, and hopefully I can uh, speak with you again sometime. All right. Uh, you can find out everything about it at fogcat.com. Excellent. Thanks, Dustin. Appreciate it. And again, that was the legendary Roger Earl, drummer for Fog Hat, and the new live album, Eight Days on the Road is available now.